I'm Noemi Combe. I'm the new Minerva Group Leader at the Max Planck Institute for Mathematics and the Science in Leipzig. I would like to tell you a story. A story about mathematical structures and Alice in Wonderland. So why are mathematical structures so fascinating? I would say that a structure is what gives aesthetics to an object or to a concept. A structure is also useful, so it's quite powerful. So I'm going to start with um, a historical point. So let's go back a century ago, in 1900. That time, Max Planck introduced his theory of quanta, which has to do with an atomic and subatomic world. So it's very tiny. 15 years later, Albert Einstein came up with his theory of general relativity, which has to do with a, a scale which is huge. It's at the scale of the universe. From the mathematical point of view, um, these discoveries gave birth to many branches. So for example, the first, so quanta, gave birth to operator theory, functional analysis, and so on. And reciprocally, general relativity gave birth to di differential geometry, um, categories, operads, and many other beautiful branches. Until now, there has been really an outstanding progress. So outstanding that there is a natural question to ask. And this question is how to give a unification of all this. Is there a theory which could unify all these beautiful mathematical branches? So I'm going to tell now the story about the mathematical mirror problem. So imagine Alice, Alice in Wonderland, and she's standing in front of this huge mirror. Her relatives are saying, please Alice, come back here, this is dangerous. But Alice doesn't care. Alice is fascinated because what she sees on the other side of the mirror is not just her reflection, it's a new world with so much more dimensions. Probably her relatives are right, Alice should not step and go on the other side of the mirror. But who cares? So now about the mathematical mirror problem, well there's a central object which fascinates mathematicians the so-called Frobenius manifolds. This barbaric term just means that you have a space which is locally Euclidean, that means a space like the one you live in, and with some algebraic structure. Until now, you had only three main classes which were known to the public. The three main classes are here, so singularities, for example, or quantum cohomology, or else these Gersten Haber, Batalin Volkovsky algebras here. These all interfere in the mirror problem. You can think of it like, to take the analogy of Alice in Wonderland, the Queen of Hearts, who is ruling three main characters the rabbit the mad hat man and the caterpillar. They're all working together to fight against this mirror problem. Somehow, I have discovered recently something. There are not only three main characters, there are in fact at least four. And the fourth one is currently under investigation. This fourth character in fact, it's completely different from the others. It is very mysterious, and I would say it has a bit of a dark side to it, because it cannot communicate with the others. With this analogy, I just mean that it's defined in another language, another mathematical language than these ones here. 
Therefore, we go back to the initial question, which is about unification. <laughs>